Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Studio Gallery with a couple of containers to put paint into and some leftover paints and some paints that are in containers that should be used up so that I can move on to the larger ones. This is... Wait! <laughs> this is a sapphire. This is a royal sapphire. Which is a fabulous color. This is true silver. I've got some fire and ice. That, okay, true silver is a prism pour. And the prism pour came in this bottle, so you'll recognize that. That's the eight ounce size. I've got fire and ice, which is another prism pour. Don't forget there's a 20% off coupon code underneath the video. I know, I didn't tell you yet, so be very easy to forget. This is fire and ice. This has a highly color shifting reflective quality. I'm going to throw some of that right in there. I'm looking, usually I would put a base layer in. So I'm thinking that what I start with, like this French silk, which is another prison pour, is just going to be my base layer. And I'll add the colors I want to on top. It's sort of like making a painting before painting. This is Chantilly Lace. Another prison pour. Definitely good to have. Now I have a primary element, which is a gorgeous blue called Blue Flame. And I'll leave that open right there because I think I'm going to want it again. Then I have Sea Dancer, another primary element. Absolutely fabulous color. Probably my newest favorite color. I know it's, it's weird it's not pink, but I have a lot of beautiful pinks too. I don't know how long I can get away with leaving those. So I had the end of some of the froze, frosted berry and some orange. And I might be taking a chance that because it, it's looking a lot gloppy. But I'm hoping that the other paint will help revive it and I don't really feel like wasting it. And it could be very risky. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Leave it to me. I know, they're all supposed to be the same viscosity and so on and so forth. I think that's about all I can force out of that. This is this is boysenberry added to opalite. Opalite is one of the new ancient metals. It might even be another part of that title, like Sunken Treasure or something. Um, and it's got, like I said, it's got boysenberry and opalite. I just had some extra opalite and it looked, and that boysenberry was calling me. <laughs> and this, wait a minute, where's the boysenberry? I wonder where I put the boysenberry. Well, I've got boysenberry with ginger flower in it, and those are both primary elements, pigment powders. And the recipe for mixing the prism pores is underneath the video, but if you need the recipe for mixing the pigment powders, just ask me. I see that thing that looks like it does not belong. That needed to come out of there. Let's put it somewhere else. So I love the ginger flower. And I've missed, I've put that somewhere also. <laughs> so I've got a new color that from Primary Elements, which is called Carnival, which I've been excited about using because it might be my other favorite color in the pink family. And I'm going to close that up. I've got some Big Apple, which is very, what do they call those? Red Hots? Very red hot red. It's not coming out very well, so maybe we'll just park that over here. I've got some poinsettia. Which looks great with that carnival. I think I'm going to want to use some orange. So here's my orange crush, which is a 
prison pour. Let's make sure that's a little more shaken up than it looked like it was. Uh, I got a dog outside. It's a good thing it's not a sunny day. Somebody went and took a nap and didn't bring him in. Someone who shall remain nameless. This is, I believe this is the sour lemon with a little bit of um, orange crush in it. It's going to take most of my time to put the colors in the dish. This is Pink Diamond, my old favorite, my go-to. And I just put right over that carnival, and I'm going to put some more carnival back there in a second. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Let's put some more of that, that carnival back in there, the, the uh, primary elements. Yeah, that's the bomb. Right there. Love that. Now I have, I found the straight boysenberry. The boysenberry is right here in my hand. That is another primary element. Look at that color. Wow. <laughs> That's just so beautiful and intense. I want to go back to Sea Dancer. Oh. And Blue Flame, but mostly Sea Dancer. Try and restrain myself. I've got some African violet, which is an absolutely fantastic prism pour. I don't know why I'm waiting till the end to put in my my yellow. I have some. Come on out. Clear your tip. Okay, that's not working. Whatever was in there, it's not in there anymore. Hopefully it's not in my container. Do I have anything I didn't put in? I didn't put any of this violet rose in, which is kind of reminiscent of that first color that I'm having a moment remembering. That's very close to that pink color I mixed. I have a little bit, I think I want to add, <laughs> I should say, some more of the Royal Sapphire. I meant for these to be very different from each other, but they're not looking like I managed to do that. I'm going to use a little bit of this Sour Lemon and hope I don't dislike it. That just makes me want to cover it up with some Tuscan Sun. This is taking a long time. I'm sorry about that. A little more pink diamond. For me, this is probably as important a part, in, part as anything. This is African Jade. This is a primary element. You can see why I'm not mixing my colors in front of you. Oh, I like that. Try and get my bottles mostly out of the way so we can start doing this. I've got some frosted berry, which is going to add a, a lighter element. I've got some frosted berry that I didn't shake up first. Oh, yeah. That's good. Ah, there's the opalite. I'm going to put the cap back on that. I think I'm all done with that for now. I hope that cap is really on there. I would hate for that to dry out. I think, I think I'm pretty good. I've got a little passion. I've got a lot of passion, actually. And I think I'm going to add some more of that and then call it good. The only thing I really feel like I'm shortchanging myself on is possibly some orange. And I know people have mixed feelings about orange. So why don't I just use some of the orange crush with big apple in it and see what happens. Now it's time to grab my little scoopy tools. 
and see if I can get most of my bottles out of my way. There's the French silk again. Maybe a little dribble of that. And I really want some black in there, and I never do that. Well, almost never. I'm sure there's been a few times, so let's just... And you're right, I didn't put any gold in there, and I think I'm just going to leave it without gold. If I want gold, I'll add it afterwards. This is supposed to be fun. What I really want right now is to grab anything to stick over the top of this first container so it doesn't start to get gloppy on me while I wait to work on the second one. I made the mistake of leaving some skins that were dry on a freshly dried canvas and so my canvas looks a little odd. Let's just do this, starting with my old favorite. I like weird marks. I have, or had, yep, I have some little containers that I grabbed from some packaging. I don't know if you can see those or not, but I'm going to try that right now. Yellow. That paint's already getting a little interesting. Yes, I never really know. I have to feel it out. I really never know where I'm going to start. But that sour lemon is a statement maker. I might even like it more than I thought I would. I like the anomalous little strange marks that come with packaging. Scoops. This might be really bizarre. <laughs> Try to lift it up so I have a drip. So far so good. Makes me want to go back to the shovel though for right now. Let's grab, let's try not to make too much trouble for myself. That's a large shovel with awesome colors in it. I like that. That kind of made a heart. I was thinking about doing a garden because I've done those before many times. I like the idea of having some negative space. grabbing shovels full. I like the little the little containers but right now it seems like I took maybe a little longer than I should have. Oh that's cool. The colors are fantastic. Woohoo! Those colors are the bomb. I know. I bombed too many things.
you have to slow your roll to let all the paint come out of a shovel appropriately. It occurs to me it would be nice to have a piece of skewer. Lots of times I put dots in and I may well be doing that also in this. Try and scrape off the bottom. Pardon me while I can't get that right at this exact second. My paint, my timer is a little clogged with paint. <laughs> It's been going for years. It's a Cuisinart timer. I recommend them, but you might want to keep the rubbing alcohol handy. So I'm super quiet and I'm sorry about that. This is really, really cool. I'm having a good time. And I want to pick up my other little tool and see what I can get away with before it's too late. So far, so good. I love you guys. There's over 2,500 videos. There's probably over 2,600 videos by now. Seems like I've been posting a fair number of them. And if you're looking for them, you can go to my channel. Go to playlists, all playlists, created playlists. I want to put a few dots in. You don't have to use anything special for dots. But you got to be aware of how fast the paint is leaving your container. And if you get them too close together, there's a very good chance you'll merge. And if you're trying to do it too quickly and you leave a little tail through the air, you'll, you might not be happy with that either. So what else can I tell you? Thank you for the kind words and the compliments that keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the donations that help keep my channel alive and keep me painting. I'm trying to decide where I need something. I probably don't need anything anywhere. I probably could have left it alone with some negative space. I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks that either. I just want dots. See, this filled in. I've got one minute left to tell you guys. What am I supposed to tell you? Oh, I'm having too much fun? <laughs> That's something I should tell you. Um, my link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more. I'm just going to use the shovel and whatever beautiful colors are in there to dot my way to happiness. It's the flat end of a skewer that I made the, the tool out of. Or I'm using the paint dot tool. I'm distracted. I'm sorry. <laughs> My dotting tool is the flat end of the skewer that I made. The... Made the acetate tool out of. 